Humanoids of the Internet. My name is Bob, and this is episode. Oh my God, I don't have a freaking clue. That's what episode it is. Hold on. Episode. I don't have a freaking idea in this. No, I don't want to upgrade the YouTube One channel. Stop it. <laughs> uh, I probably should have prepared this better. Uh. Yeah. Episode... Episode 65 of Journey into Space! Journey into Space. Um... Jebediah has been, you know, getting on me to try to, to, he wants to, he wants to ride with the top down, you know, and I, I can, I can understand that, uh, you know, it did nothing between him and the, and the uh, hypersonic uh, airstream, but his f space helmet, you know, I can, I can, I can get that, you know, uh, so we're going to try to oblige him. Here is the convertible one with uh, Jebediah Kerman commanding. We're gonna get him out of his got him out of his capsule because capsule's actually gonna be left on the ground. And he's gonna be going to space in that thing at the very top. Uh, now here's Tricky Bit. Ford. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to be flying to space in that. Who knows? Maybe we'll get him to the moon or something. We'll see. See, right there in the middle is my, um, uh, RTG and a battery. Got a little bit of, uh, RCS. Uh, parachutes. That's <laughs> always handy. Um, down here, the uh, first stage is powered by jet engines, uh, and uh, second stage, um, uh, these three here will ignite, uh, then these two will drop off and will continue on, and then these, these tanks will drop when they're empty. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go, SAS on. And... Starting engines in three, two, one, and I, 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 I had not changed my um, uh, settings. I can't change controls from here. Okay, well, I assume it's space then. Oh, I've got no fucking air intakes. All right. <laughs> okay, Jebediah Kerman. Attempt to throttle the maximum. SAS on. In three, two, one. Engine ignition. And lift off. A bit of a spin going on.
and my nav balls upside down. <clears throat> yeah. Well, he's enjoying it. Uh, you won't be enjoying it for long if I don't get this guy turned over. Come on. Okay, um, evidently my controls are messed up. Okay. Abort. Well, it's a good, good opportunity to test the parachute. Hey, feeling Jeb? Feeling okay? Oh yeah, he's he's freaking having a orgasm. All right. Yeah, he's liking it. Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. <coughs> okay, now what he's gonna like like the next part or not is quite another matter. All the blood surely rushing to his head. He likes it, hey Mikey. Okay, now a moment of truth. Oh shit. Oh there he goes. Sorry, Jebediah. Uh, there was a bit of a a bit of a problem with the um yeah. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, um, I got the um, uh, the nab ball at least to point in the right direction. That's one start. Um, go ahead and retract all this. Okay, we could still have the same problem as we had before. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, also, I may have to break at any moment for dinner. So, but let's but let's see how far we can get. Battle the maximum SAS on. In three, two, one. Engine start. And lift off. And it's still spinning. And the nav ball's gone wacky again. Control from here, please. Thank you. Alright, stabilize a little bit. Uh, nab ball is still reversed from where it should be, but oh uh, well, we'll manage. Everything's looking fairly nominal at the moment. Okay, and... Gravity turn. I don't think this is the right direction, but it'll it's a direction. We'll go with it. 
Yeah, it looks like it's probably the right direction, maybe. Something close to it anyway. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. All systems appear to be nominal. Jebediah is happy as a fucking clam. Well, you got your wish, Jebediah. Now we should maybe taking him to the moon at this rate. What you think about that, Jebediah? A little trip to the moon? You like that? Alright, get ready to throttle this bad boy up. Uh, let's go ahead and... What direction are we heading? Trying to, trying to, trying to change this to north. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's get back on course. Up, oh, RCS on. A bit uncontrollable. <laughs> only a bit. Alright, let's see if Only just a bit uncontrollable. Okay, we can jettison those. Uh, -oh, throttle up. Not very uh, good with the controls. Let's uh, let's turn fine controls on. What is that tab? Nope. Caps lock. Yeah. What do you think, Jeb? Head on to the moon? Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head around the other side. Uh, we'll do a little EVA, just for grins. Okay, I, I screwed up slightly. I put my, my periapsis was still uh, in the atmosphere, but I've got that all sorted out. Uh, and there, this is, uh, this is, of course, I haven't said this up to this point, but it's true. This is 0.20, uh, and there are two buttons here. I have no idea what they are, what they do. I did a quick save just in case I screw something up. Now let's go and push them and see what happens. Convertible one lever, vehicle concentration. Oh, cool! Tells you what its weight is and everything. Highly excellent. Jebediah, cur courage and stupidity. <laughs> He's uh, moderately courageous and moderately stupid. <laughs> uh, yep, that is him. Okay. 
moderately courageous and moderately stupid Jebediah. Let's go ahead and um, do an EVA here. Now let's wait until you're further into the sunlight. I wonder if I'll be able to see the, the, the temple pyramid stuff from here. Kind of doubt it, but All right, let me see. I don't think this thing is going to get to the moon, or at least not any kind of um, survivable scenario. Uh, however, I think I could probably do a little bit of a uh, modification to it and uh, get it to the moon for sure. And probably what's going to be up next after we get uh, Jebediah home. Make sure that the parachutes work. Are you a happy little dude? Yeah, you are. You're a happy little dude. He's, he's just absolutely creaming his spacesuit. Creaming his fucking spacesuit. Okay. Don't lose your spacecraft there, Jebediah. Right now I'm uh, running with, uh, as is typical whenever there's a version change, I'm running with no mods at all. Uh, I'm going to kind of play around with it a little bit um, without the mods um, before I um, start uh, messing around with mods any. All right, back in the seat. Uh, looks like it's about nightfall over uh, your hometown there. We'll go ahead and um, do him, give him a, a re-entry, try to get him uh, safe into the ground, and then we might just try to see if we can land uh, a version of this on the moon, just for grins, just because it's there. Okay. And there. Okay. I want to get these set up on the same thing. I got to change that. Go ahead and say goodbye to the lower stage. How you feeling there, Jib? Feeling pretty good. Feeling confident. Got a positive mental attitude. That's good. That's real good, Jib. Because you're gonna need that positive mental attitude. As you're you're flying an apple crate in from orbit, just saying. I've never seen a person be so excited about something that could possibly be his impending death. I mean, it is pretty cool though. I mean, he's in freaking space. He's in 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 space in a go kart, but um, he's in space. Yeah, he's got, he's got parachutes. He'll be okay, right? Sure, he will. He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Yeah, he's got his uh, spacesuit and he's got his batteries, a uh, little robot control, and everything. You know, he's got everything he needs. He's all he's all good. He's got a SAS unit. Most importantly, he's got parachutes. Uh, there is a little uh, RTG generator in there. It's kind of hidden, but it is actually is in there.
Might as well use up some of this uh, RCS. This appears to be <coughs> rather aerodynamically unstable. Yeah, SAS unit works great as a heat shield. Yeah. No worries, man. Absolutely no worries. You'll be back at the Space Center and drinking coffee before you know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're burning up in the atmosphere, dude. I'm sorry to tell you that, but you're burning up in the freaking atmosphere. Okay, well, that's not doing anything. Sorry, humanoids interrupting me. Humanoids. Humanoids. Dang you, humanoids. Destroying all humanoids. Okay, hey, dude, uh, about to be at 6,000 meters. We'll go ahead and pop your uh, chute there. Let it kind of slow you down a little bit. Not feeling good? Yeah. <coughs> You've got a positive mental outlook, which is important for a Kerbal to have. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, very important for a Kerbal to have. See <laughs> how people are always trying to get you killed. It's a positive mental outlook is a very, very important part of your lifestyle. Whoops. Oh well, he's not so happy now. Sit up straight there, Jebediah. Alright, well, the, the the good news is he appears like he's going to land safely. Bad news is that the G-forces squished him like a bug. <coughs> but he's still happy. He's like, I've been squished like a bug, but I'm still happy. Uh, I've noticed this bef problem before, uh, where it doesn't recognize him as being in the seat, really. It doesn't recognize him as being on EVA. Okay, no, he's he's back. Fortunately, he's still 600 meters above the ground, so probably he shouldn't leave the spacecraft just yet. Yeah, board the spacecraft there, bud. And touchdown. Very nice, very gentle. Or she'll never get out again. <laughs> there we go. Well, sort of. All right. All right. Well, that was this is a success. Uh, after I eat uh, dinner, uh, yeah, he's just happy as a as a freaking clam. Uh, after I eat dinner, we're going to send him to the moon. Why not?